In the previous program, we saw the story of King Abgar Ukama, the king of Edessa in Syria, and how he heard the miracle power of Jesus Christ, and he sent his ambassador, his envoy, Hanan, or called Ananias, to go and seek out Jesus because King Abgar was afflicted with a terrible disease and he was suffering and he wanted Jesus to come and heal him. So he sent this message where Jesus says, well, my time is appointed, my appointed time, my destiny has come and it must be fulfilled. This letter was received during Passion Week, just days before Jesus was crucified and days before he rose again and days before he ascended on high and procured for us salvation and the promise and hope of eternal life. But after the day of Pentecost, moved by the Holy Spirit, St. Thomas sent Thaddeus, St. Jude Thaddeus, to go to the east to preach to the Assyrians, the Chaldeans, the Babylonians, the Persians, the Parthians, the, Parthians, the Armenians, and all the people of the east. And while he was over there, Thaddeus uh, worked miracles and preached the gospel, and King Abgar heard of this. Abgar sent for Thaddeus to come unto him and proclaimed to him the message he received from Jesus Christ. And he also asked that St. Jude Thaddeus fulfill the promise of healing that was made through Jesus Christ, which he did. So, King Abgar listened to the message preached by Thaddeus. He received it in faith. He was healed from his disease, and he was saved, and he confessed Christ as Lord. So here's a dramatic presentation of the conversion of King Abgar. And I want to mention in this video, uh, my friend Mike Scarlett played the role of King Abgar Ukama. And uh, I worked with him on this project and we got a lot of clips from him. But uh, sadly, uh, Mark Scarlett was actually murdered. He's trying to help a family member or a friend and uh, this person is of low character and he just returned a bad deed for a good deed and murdered Mike Scarlett. So I want to remember him and uh, pray for his family uh, as they're suffering this terrible loss of a friend of mine who's a good man. Mike Scott also appeared in several Dinesh D'Souza films, and uh, I met Dinesh D'Souza a couple of times, and I really appreciate uh, the work of Dinesh D'Souza in reviving patriotism and uh, encouraging people uh, to know and uh, carry out and practice their constitutional rights. So let's remember uh, Mike Scarlett at this time, and uh, please stay tuned to this channel for further developments as we produce more content, and we refine the St. Jude Thaddeus film and put it out there so people can be educated by the life of, of entertained, educated, uh, and blessed by the life of this great apostle, St. Jude Thaddeus, the apostle of the impossible and the saint of lost and desperate causes. Uh, so thank you, and God bless you. And they went forth and carried the good news to the farthest reaches of the world. Not long afterward, his promise was fulfilled. For after his resurrection from the dead and his ascent into heaven, Thomas, one of the twelve apostles, under divine impulse, sent Thaddeus, who was also numbered among the seventy disciples of Christ, to Edessa as a preacher and evangelist of the teaching of Christ. The Holy Spirit has spoken to me. It is the Lord's will for Mari and Thaddeus to go and spread the good news of the kingdom of God in Mesopotamia. You shall go ahead of me. I shall come through the region on my way to India. I shall go. I have a friend named Tobias, son of Tobit, who lives in Edessa. I shall start there. Truly, this is the will of God. Shalom Tobias. Livius, it's you. It's, it's been so long. Tobias, you have a heavy heart. What troubles you? My wife, she's severely ill with fever. I'm afraid she will not make it through the night. 
Let me go and pray for her. I bless you in the name of Jesus and pray that you be made well. Praise God! It's a miracle! It's a miracle! And all that our Savior had promised received through Him its fulfillment. God has come and dwelt here. He is one of the ones that Jesus sent concerning you, saying, I will send to you one of my disciples. I saw him performing great miracles here in Edessa. Indeed, this is the one who Jesus sent unto me, saying, When I have ascended to heaven, I will send to you one of my disciples, and he will cure you of your illness. He's come at last. Send for him. We welcome you, most holy apostle. I am Abgar the king. Are you a man? Or an angel of God? Please do not worship me, for I'm a man just like yourself. Are you truly a disciple of Jesus, the Son of God, who said to me, I will send you one of my disciples, and he shall heal you and give you life. I am, and because you believed in him that sent me, therefore I am sent unto you. If you believe in him, the petitions of your heart will be granted you through your faith. Our Lord has fulfilled the will of his Father, and having fulfilled it, he has been taken up to his Father and sat down with him in glory, from whom he has been from eternity. I, I too have believed in him and his Father. Therefore, I put my hand upon you in his name. I'm healed! I'm healed! Believe in his miracles, brother. <laughs> which is not mine to take. Look, we have forsaken all we have, because it was instructed so by my Lord, without money bags or coins, bearing the cross upon our shoulders. We have been commanded to preach the Holy Gospel to the whole world, the crucifixion for our sakes, for the salvation of all men. Now, everyone knows you're a disciple of Jesus Christ, because no one could have done these things without him. Tell us what you witnessed with Jesus and his disciples. I cannot keep silent on this matter. It's for this very reason I came to this place. The entire city is invited 
to come together tomorrow and listen to me preach the good news.